epics, threadrippers, tons of GPUs, and today we have got a real powerhouse, a 7995WX. We've got 256 gigabytes in eight channels of 6400 speed RAM. You can bet we're gonna be running the 405 on this. So we may test out dual 4090s, but we're for sure gonna test out a single 4090, and we're gonna look at the performance versus the 3090 to continue along with some of the charting that we've been doing, which will be included at the end of this video. Feel free to use the chapters below to skip to any part at any time, and if you are new to this channel, you might wanna check out some of the other really cool videos that we've done where I show you everything from how to put together a complete rack rig that is much more economical than what you're looking at right here, and also all of the software installation that you need to go through to have a complete Proxmox Docker LXC container monster. All right, let's jump in. All right, so here is our Threadripper Pro machine, 192 CPUs, 7995WX, uh, just a just an absolute beast. So in Open Web UI over here, I am already downloading the Llama 3.1 405B. This is a Q4 model, and you can find that on the Olama website. And this is 229 gigabytes. If you look here, we have 251 uh, gigabytes available to us, and you can see some of these threads kicking up to the mid fours as we're downloading our model here. Okay, so up here we can see that uh, we have like one thread right now going at about 5.1 gigahertz per second. So that is the CPU uh, single threading right there. Now we're going to go into the Llama 3.1405B. And as soon as we're in here, I'm going to hover over that. And you can see that's 213.1 gigabytes of uh size that it's got there to it. So that's basically what we're going to see over here when we look at the MIM. And also we're going to come over here and fire up glances. And in VTOP. So we've got our NVTOP on the 4090 here, and we can also see that we've got our system just chilling out over here right now, pretty much unutilized. So I'm going to ask it for something very short and sweet so that it can't take a lot of time here. And we're going to see how long it takes here. It's, it's not going to be fast. I'll tell you that right now. Definitely not going to be fast. And that is quite a bit of loading we've got there. I think we hit 15,000. So yeah, that is a good sign that we are really cranking out really hard on the CPU right now, as you see all those green up. Oh yeah, definitely can hear it kicking on back there also. Okay, so if we take a look here, we can see that the response is at uh, 0 0.06 tokens per second. That is quite slow. And uh, that was seven minutes and 15 seconds to answer that. So I'm going to go ahead and ask it a second question that is very similar to this, just to see if there was possibly some warm up impact. But I, I don't know. Uh, I would say that this is something that if you were thinking of doing this yourself, you would definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, I mean, even with the fastest. CPU out there and some of the fastest RAM, amazing uh, memory bandwidth, you're still going to be really hard pressed to have a uh, decent experience versus like quad 3090s and a 70B at say uh, Q8 or something like that, which Nemotron, of course, yet another Llama 3.1 tune and a really good one that even at smaller sizes has performed really well for me. And with four 3090s, of course, you have a ton of uh, possibilities. But even with two 3090s or 4090s or uh, A5000s, I guess, also, you would be able to have still a really decent uh, Q4 7DB. So 224 gigabyte GPUs like 3090s may be the most tokens per second that you can get. And that CPU is really getting hit right here. 85% of it uh, getting utilized. Window AC, not too far away from it, uh, directly hitting in that area. So the temperature of the CPU should keep it from thermaling. 
and it definitely has uh, not ramped up the uh, fan on the CPU since I turned the AC on. This is horrible. It's been forever. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, uh, like I was saying, don't run the 405 Bs. There's there's no at home hardware that's going to do it very well. Maybe if you're going to go absolutely crazy and build like a 16 GPU kind of setup. All right, so we're done with the 405B. Let's see how long that took. 21 minutes and 12 seconds, 0 0.06 tokens per second. Ouch. So yeah, I would say this is a good reason why doing any sort of a really large 405B kind of model uh, that is well outside of the GPU capacity that you have is going to be incredibly painful. Now let's test something that's way funner. Today, we're really isolating that uh, memory frequency. And also we've got, of course, a little bit faster of a CPU single core thread speed, but definitely that memory does uh, have quite a bit higher uh, gigahertz that it's operating at here. And we're going to be running the Quinn 2.5 32B issue a warm up for it really quick. While that's uh, kicking up, I'm going to bring us over here and get us into NVTOP. and H top. So on our first response, we got 35.6 tokens, 35.06. You know what? That's interesting. Um, so our Quinn 2.5 32B Q4, we actually just pulled, uh, let me, let me get that again. 35.06. Yeah. Okay. We went slower. 35.06. All right. And that, that, that is interesting. Let me know in the comments below what you think about that. This uh, this tells me questionable things. <laughs> I'm not sure what this tells me, actually. Um, I've got a couple of ideas, but I'm, I'm going to see whether or not it maintains at this slower speed. Again, we're on the same, the RTX 4090, and it's operating at the same speeds that we were seeing last time. It's actually quite cool in here today, so... We definitely are not thermally throttling anything. And 34.94. Yeah, that is slower also. 34.94. Okay. And our 4,000 word story. And we're definitely hitting 5.14 uh, gigahertz that I'm seeing over here. And our 4,000 word story was 33.73 tokens per second. Again, slower on that also. 33.73. Yeah, we are going slower than we were on the 5955WX, actually, at this point, by about negative 3.8 tokens per second. So I think this is pretty interesting. I can't say this is definitively something that uh, I can put my finger on right now, but we're, we're going to be working around this. I'll, I'll definitely be keeping this in mind. And our final question, 34.66 tokens per second. 34.66. All right, and so while we've got the 4090 loaded up here, we're going to also do the Llama 3.23B FP16, and we'll do that one next. This one here. Okay. And that was 103.39 tokens per second on that response. 3.39, 3.39. And that is an eight tokens per second drop that we're getting there as well. Okay, and next let's move on to question two. Writing a program generating fractals. And 102.18. 2.18. We, we're seeing some variability here that is uh, surprising. And on this one, 95.66 tokens per second. That's down quite a bit. 95.66 tokens per second there. Now we are at negative 11.6. So we are almost all the way back to the performance that we were getting on the Epic 7702. And 93.95 tokens per second. Wow. So we are at negative 13.2 uh, 
uh, tokens per second on the 7995WX versus the 5995 last gen platform with 2400 speed RAM versus 6400 speed RAM. You tell me, you make it make sense to me. I am, uh, I'm looking forward to reading your comments on this one. And we're going to go for the Llama 3.18B FP6T. And that's 49.04 tokens per second on that one. And we're looking like a negative five tokens per second already on this as well. So there's definitely something that does seem to be consistently happening here. Now, I will say also this is a complex platform. And while I am generally decent at getting performance out of a Threadripper or a Ryzen system or an Epic system, there are challenges for sure on a 7995WX, but you can see we are actually hitting 5.14. So we're actually single thread going faster than we were uh, on the 5955WX. And we're at 48.32 tokens per second here. 48.32, 48.32. And 47.32 tokens per second. And our final question here. This is very surprising. Forty-seven point three nine tokens per second. Forty-seven point three nine. So we are at negative six point two delta tokens. CP per second. This is just uh, pretty shocking. Uh, just going to shake it off. We're going to toss in the 3090 and give it a shot here and see what kind of performance we can get with that. And like I said, mystery is abound. The memory is uh, at 6400. So very, very interested to see what your thoughts might be on this. Let's Quinn 2.532B. So curious how this is uh, going slower than what we saw just recently with the last generation's Threadripper. And 35.26 tokens per second here. So we didn't see an uplift from the 3090-4090 transition here. It looks like uh, more mystery. 35. 26. Uh, yeah. This is 5.26. Th this is actually faster for the 3090 now than it was for the 4090. So I think I've got to retest that 4090. There, there's got to be something happening here with the 4090 specifically. Maybe it's a driver thing. Um, that's one thing that I, I should investigate a little bit more. But let's... uh. Let's drop your comments in the chat below and I will uh, read those and hopefully some people have got some good ideas of what this might be that I could check out. That way I could uh, fast track a solution. If you have any idea, do toss it below. And 34.62 tokens per second. All right, let's get our story that is 4,000 words about a cat themed like a pirate. And definitely hitting 4.8, it looks like, 5 right there gigahertz per second. And 31.66 tokens per second. And our final question. And that one was 35.5. So we see a slight in improvement there, but that is uh, not much at all. That is uh, less than one token per second of improvement. Next, let's move over to the Llama 3.1 8B FP16. And we're at 49.33 tokens per second. And 1.8 tokens per second faster than the prior, the second question here in 
writing a program that generates fractals. And that was 47.84 tokens per second. And our third question here, 46.64 tokens per second. And our final question here, 46.35 and we're at 46.35 tokens per second on that one. So we essentially came out right where the other one was on that. So I think that we've just got one left here. That's the 3B FP16 of the 3.2 Lala. Let's go to workspace and fire that one up. And we're at 103.47 on that. 3.47, so 103.47. And you know, these scores are just incredibly close to each other that I'm seeing here. So I'm feeling like there's got to be something that's related very much to the chipset or a setting that is making the 4090 and the 3090 very comparable in speed on both of these. But again, we're not seeing it go past uh, what the 5955WX was able to achieve. Uh, still, that's uh, consistently holding. So pretty interesting. Very interesting, as a matter of fact. And 101.8 is what we got on that. 101.8, 101.8. Okay, let's get our Cap Pirate 4000 word story. And 95.12 tokens per second. And our fourth one. Sorry, I got some brownie here. And we're at 94.44 tokens per second. So this is, so we did see a little bit of uptick actually on that one versus the 5955WX. But again, these scores are very similar to what we were seeing between the two. So 98.8 and 98.7, 34.6 and 34.26, 38.02 and 47.54. I think there's got to be something in that in particular. The other takeaway from this that is big is that Still, the Epic 7702, while five tokens per second slower, is not dramatically slower. So I think that is something that um, is a pretty good takeaway point. It does matter. You can go faster. A lot of it's going to come down to the GPU you're, you're, you're using. And I feel like there's some unknown other variable in here that must be playing a heavier impact on these operations than what we're seeing currently. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. We've got a mystery on our hands and this one, uh, hopefully other people can clue me in what their thoughts are and I can do a little bit more digging on my side also. Everybody have a great rest of your day and I will check you out next time.